All right, so we're going to start investigating the Nyquist st stability requirement, which is going to inform us of stability issues with our op amp and how to size uh, certain components in our op amp and whatnot in the future. So we know that the closed loop response of our op amp is given by little a sub s divided by 1 plus t sub s, where t sub s is the loop gain and it's equal to little a sub s times beta. So we keep introducing these confusing terminologies and so I want to go ahead and clarify them one more time. Big A sub S is the closed loop gain. This is the gain after we've added feedback. Little A sub S is the open loop gain or the gain before feedback. Beta is the feedback factor. Uh, this is determined by typically a passive uh, network like a resistor divider network and big T sub S is the loop gain. Okay, so we have a stability problem if our output response blows up to infinity. So if our closed loop response A sub S goes to infinity. And the only way that we can make this happen would be for the gain of our, uh, for our loop gain to go to minus one. So if our loop gain T sub S goes to minus one, then we have our closed loop gain A of S is equal to A of S divided by one minus one and of course this blows up to infinity. So what we're saying is if the magnitude of A of S times beta is greater than or equal to one when the angle of A of S times beta is equal to minus 180 degrees then we have potential for instability. Okay, so let's look at a single pole op amp. So our op amp has the frequency response, little a sub zero, divided by one minus s divided by omega p one, the pole frequency for the amp. Little a sub zero is the DC or low frequency open loop gain. If we plug our op amp gain into our feedback system, A of S divided by one plus A of S times beta, then we see that this is equal to A sub zero divided by one plus A sub zero times beta times one over one minus S divided by omega P one times one plus A naught times beta. We have a DC closed loop gain term and we have a frequency shaping term. Okay, what we're going to do in the next set of slides is to plot this on a Bode plot and use it to try and find if our amplifier here is stable. So we're going to take this very same transfer function and plot it uh, as a function of open loop and closed loop gain and loop gain to find out if we have a stable amplifier.